If you guys want to get notified whenever I buy or sell a player, make sure to follow me on ultimatetrader.club, sign up for free now, and check how I make coins with my trading journal. How's it going everyone and welcome to another market watch video today we're just gonna be looking at the latest news and today ea sports have finally announced team of the season which will come out on 27th of april which is friday it was something that uh, i have personally expected because probably on saturday next saturday we're gonna get the player of the year and after that week we're gonna get into the team of the season period the first team of the season is basically gonna be the community team of the season the community team of the season is going to be based around as ea states around the players that haven't got an inform until now so let's just read it through community team of the season is based on a short list of 100 players who performed consistently well throughout the season but did not receive a performance based uh an inform based on their performance as of april 15th so until now these cards haven't got an inform in the game but they played consistently really good throughout the season and they are uh, able to get into the team of the season based on people who will vote them for the voting you can go on foothead or on footwiz i'm gonna leave the links in the description below if you guys want to vote for these cards as well uh and basically this is going to be the first year that we're not going to have the silver and bronze community thoughts every year thus far we had the silver and bronze community thoughts as the as the boy the chew boy has tweeted out uh we're not gonna get that one this year but what we're gonna possibly get this year is that the silvers and bronzes could be inputted in uh let's say a benelux team of the season let's say um like the saudi league or any of those team of, uh, team of the season um leagues that basically have like lower rated players we we can see uh silver and uh bronze cards in those as it stated on his tweet silver bronze players can still appear in other league team of the season squads now uh here's the voting page guys if you want to go in i'm gonna leave the links in the description if you want to vote uh between the 100 players you need to select 23 players that you would like to see in the community team of the season that is going to be the first team of the season then after that one we expect the bpl team of the season now investment wise we won't be investing into this community team of the season as of now but what we're gonna be doing is investing into the bpl team of the season which will which will come a week after this team of the season right now we are on 15th on 27th we're gonna get the team of the season and uh which is the community thoughts and on 4th of may is where we should get the bpl team of the season and that's what we're going to target we're going to target the league team of the seasons where we're going to be investing into those now what you should guys what you guys have to know that the best investments before the team of the seasons are the ones that are not going to get a team of the season card have an inform and play consistently good now what i mean with this is let's say for example florenti you know this card is a great card he's already down to 350,000 coins he's on a central mid position he has hyperlinks to really good players like say nangala and bruno paris as well as a right back could be really good if we don't get during the Serie A team of this season any other really uh good right backs uh in that league so basically what we would be investing in here is for the players that won't get into team of the season but they're really good and people will buy them when they start buying the team of the season player so let's say the team of the season Serie A is out you got Nangalan, people buy Nangalan. they do a hybrid or, or they do a normal Serie A team of the season squad or anything like that you like a lot of people would want Florenzi in that team to link up with Nangalan, and that's when we expect its price to go up if you guys look at the chart it's been steadily going down and down now the team of the season is announced people are offloading they are selling their players and uh, basically also youtubers if you look a, a lot around youtube they are just saying team of the season market crash is just, just gonna all go down and stuff I haven't seen a video yet where people have said that some players will go up and it happens every year I've been doing this market thing for this is the fifth year on the market that I'm on and I it, like it happened almost every year except for the year where we got uh the price ranges introduced because that FIFA was totally dead after that one but basically every time what happens is people want to link up but in their teams players they are really good but didn't get in team of the season because they didn't get a better version of that card so in regards to that 
people buy it back push up the prices i'm looking at florenzi right here i'm looking also at the central midfield alaba people could use alaba as a central midfield player if uh alaba does not get into team of the season even if there's going to be a really good laugh back from bundesliga that people can link up and use in their teams maybe even sisoko could go up uh, i mean like every sort of player that does not get into team of the season uh can be pushed up in value at that specific moment now what i'm going to be doing is if you are sub to me on ultimate trader i will start slowly researching the market who are the potential players that won't be getting into the team of the season that we're going to be investing in we're going to wait for them to go lower because basically every sort of players right now they're still being sold uh the community will hype up the market crash more and more and the players should go even lower in value before the team of the season starts so we're not going to buy these cards yet Keep in mind, there's going to be a moment in time when the community team of the season drops where we need to jump in the BPL players. Uh, as for example, here right now we have Sissoko maybe. He's not one of the best possible examples right now. I'm going to find other ones as well. But if you guys want to know specifically which cards I'm planning to target, which we are planning to target, and which cards we are going to invest in at that specific moment, you guys can subscribe down below. Of course, I'm going to do more videos uh, on this topic. I'm going to try and help you guys out as much as I can. If you have any questions, drop them on Twitter, drop them below in the description. If you're new to the uh, channel make sure to subscribe because there's also a lot of uh, stuff to talk about the player of uh, the year the player of the year awards guys if you're not following me yet on instagram make sure to do it the link is down in the description you uh, i'll be doing these sort of posts where you guys can see based on last year what were the requirements and i just kind of those player of the year player of the month requirements that were uh that, that were required for last year i just transcend them into this year and try to look at the potential players uh what are the requirements they could be needed based on the sbcs from last year of course so i'm going to be doing more posts every day from now on i'm going to post another picture for the young player of the year and the player of the year there's also some speculation about the league one being the uh, 13th of may that is going to be released so i'm going to also upload those pictures make sure to follow me uh, on instagram and after i'm done with that i'm going to release the player of the year uh, video which uh, i'll also talk about some potential investments and talking about some potential investments let's just check what's the lowest price on the 84s right now a lot of you have been asking me 4k is still too much for 84s if you ask me at this specific stage but we're seeing 83s really low Oh, yes, they could be mass invested in, but there's speculation the team of the knockout stage won't be in the game this year uh, because Ronaldo and other cards got the man of the match. So if those cards got the men of the match who are believed to get in team of the knockout stage, a lot of people are predicting that EA is not going to release the team of the knockout stage. However, I still do think there is chance for the team of the knockout stage to be out. Uh, they might just put the same player, like let's say Ronaldo, the man of the match, they could just put him in, prolong it for one week more in packs. Let's say if they want to put him in the team of the knockout stage. And I, I also do believe that um, basically they can do it with the player of the year, which should come out on Saturday. The team of the knockout stage could come on Friday and after uh, a week, uh, there's going to be team of the season. So when team of the knockout stage ends with the player of the year, there's going to be also team of the season right after that. And it would be perfect for EA to do right now a lot of these events. So people start uh, getting back into the game for team of the season. A lot of coins uh, should be drained away through the SBCs with team of the knockout stage. That would be a really smart move by EA so they can sell more FIFA points during the team of the season period. And I do think it will happen. So I'm going to take my luck, uh, maybe invest in some AD freeze at this moment. Uh, I'm still waiting. I'm still buying some of the informs right now who are higher rated and really low in value. If you guys want to know which players we're buying, of course, we always have uh, um, a subscription-based plan. Uh, get into the link down below in the description. Ultimate Trader Club. We're doing great right now. We're doing a lot of profit. So if you're interested in that, the link will be below. Thank you for watching. I'm going to do the Player of the Year uh, video coming up next. So if you're new, make sure to subscribe and let's continue making coins, boys. Cheers.